Today we're going to demonstrate what a giant mega cell, that's a fuel cell, hydrogen generator fuel cell looks like. We're just focusing right now on the liters per minute through the flow meter. It's putting out about two to three right here. If we look at it closely, we want to focus in on that right now. Steady two, occasionally three. And here we're coming down, you can see the bubbles coming into the back pressure line of that flow meter. That's hydrogen coming out right there. We're looking at the amp meter. It's about 29 to 30 amps right here. We have this generator what we're about to show you on a pulse width modulator. And this is gonna be a high, high tech pulse width modulator you've probably never seen before. And we see what it's putting out, about steady two, sometimes it may bump up to the three mark but this is what we're checking right now I want you to look at this this fuel cell right here you're looking right here by the way that electric pump that's on there is not running uh, this is a 33 plate hydrogen fuel cell you can see the gas coming out of the outlet side going into the bubbler tank right there the reservoir I'm gonna get a little scan right here we try Hope you took some drama mean because I'm shooting this by myself today. Fan's not running on the unit. That's just a cooling fan if need be. It's not running hot at all, this cell. You can see the outside of this. This is the output line right here. The hydrogen gas coming out of here. You can see it going into the bubbler tank right here. We'll focus in on that a little bit right here. You can see the line right there. That's the output line right there into the the reservoir uh, that's going in and we're going to show you the uh, we already showed you the back pressure line going in through the gauge the output line for the gas which would normally go to your intake manifold uh, near the throttle throat there here we're scanning around and we're looking at the pulse width modulator this is the pulse width, width modulator that we're using on here it has a frequency setting too on it and we already showed you that it's uh, it's set to right at the maximum this is a 30 amp it's right at 30 amps we've got to set all the way up and we're looking at the uh, back pressure line into that bottle right there you can see it that's where the meat is hooked into so that's the gas output line coming through that wire flow meter right here as we're looking at it well the point of what we're trying to show you here is that sometimes size does not matter we've previously demonstrated uh, our twin cell which is not hooked up but it's on the same test stand right here's our demonstrating stand it's not hooked up you see it's not functioning and we showed you what that was putting out it was putting out between three and four when we had it really cranked up in our previous demo you could check that demo on our website on YouTube how does uh, hydrogen fuel cells work it's under that topic or just look up Labella's auto repair that one's not hooked up we're strictly running on the giant mega cell. You need a lot of room to put this in there if you're going to put this under your hood. Um, and it only puts out, like I said, as, I, as you can see right here, it's uh, putting out about two to three maybe. Two mostly steady. Two. The next notch up is three. It's only putting out two. And then we already showed you it's running right off of a straight battery right here. So there's no tricks here. This is 29 to 30 amps, and it's on a straight battery right here. That's a 12 volt battery, okay? We're gonna show you, uh, excuse me, let me get my temperature gauge here. We're gonna shoot the temperature on here to show you that this is not really running hot at all. This is what the uh, cell's running at right here. It's like about 79 to 80. We're gonna check the uh, output side, which is usually the warmer side. That's where the hydrogen's coming out of. Let's see what that's running at. That looks like it's running at about 85, 84, 83. Let's swing around to the input side. We're trying not to get y'all to uh, motion sickness type uh, situation here because I'm trying to do this by myself. Let's look at this. It's 80, 84, 85. It's almost the same temperature. The reservoir's running about the same temperature, 287, okay? That's where the uh, hydrogen uh, 
gas is going into. That's what is collecting all of the uh, hydrogen it is producing. So this is the mega cell. It doesn't hardly at all put out any more than our Pro Series twin cells that I just showed you in our previous demonstration. Right down here, it's on the same stand, it's deactivated. We have on off switches on the stand as you can see. We're running just that big cell right there. We call it the mega cell. Now there's uh, two Pro Series uh, hydrogen generators down there. Fuel cells, we call them, only to combine together have 18 plates, nine in each. Yet, look at this one here. Look at it closely. You want to count them? You want to count them? Those are 33. 33. It's putting out. We're going to look at it one more time. It's putting out. See if I can get focused in on here a little bit here. Okay, what we got? Steady two liters right there on the Dwyer flow meter. Steady two liters. Okay, we hope you've enjoyed this demonstration here on our giant mega fuel cell. Sometimes size does not matter. Thank you for watching. We hope you rate this video.